Um, to, excuse me. Uh, just to, for everyone's sake, you know, in, in the audience or anybody who may listen to the recording, when we, when we develop an initiative in TE, um, we develop it ourselves. Um, it, it's something unique to us. We, there are documents on our website associated with our equity initiative, our statement, our curricular inquiry process that were developed by TE folks. In the development process, we tend to use a multitude of vendors, and PEG was one of those vendors, but there are others as well. People attend conferences, people read, they have discussions with each other. It's not um, the work that we are doing with, um, with respect to dis district equi um, racial equity and equity in general is not something that there's a, a 10 step plan that we have that we're not sharing. It's an adaptive problem. Um, it's something that no one has really successfully completely solved that I'm aware of. Although I thank you for the reference that you provided um, this evening. And so with all those different inputs, we work together to put forward items that we think will be successful in TE school district. So what you're referencing is not something that we carried forward into our classrooms. I stand by the statement that's on our website that we do not uh, teach critical race theory in our classrooms. Uh, certainly, some of us in leadership did learn and discuss what it is, um, and that actually was handy because I had that uh, opportunity to have that discussion prior to when there was a national dialogue around critical race theory. And I actually would think that the people in our community who would want our administrators uh, to know the most about critical race theory would be the opponents of critical race theory so that we could recognize those elements as we were moving forward in our own schools. So uh, this year we continued to um, develop our own materials, share them with our staff. Um, I know uh, some of you in the audience, you as well, Mr. Joyce, attended some meetings that we had with our parent communities at our elementary school where we believe we could share some materials that we are using. Uh, two of which you heard uh, that came from PEG that were not at all related to critical race theory, the compass and the agreements, as well as our own critical in inquiry process that we developed here in TE, largely in response to some concerns that we weren't teaching critical thinking. Because we are, in fact, teaching critical thinking. We do not stand for indoctrination. And that was something that we developed that we thought would be a good tool for our teachers to use and for our parents to understand what it is that we're trying to achieve with uh, discussions of controversial issues in our classrooms. That's just a, a few, few things that came to mind as you were speaking.